we can use column vectors to describe a movement on a grid. So if we look at this red vector here, we can see it goes along to the right four, to the right four, and then up two. So as a column vector, we write four, two. So that means four to the right and two up. This purple vector here goes along one, two, three, four, five, six, and down three. So it goes along six. So we write that's a positive six, but it goes down three. So to show it's going down, we write it as negative three. So six negative three means along six, down three. This green vector goes back one, so to the left one, and then down one, two, three, four, five. So to show it's going to the left instead of the right, we say that's negative one. And to say it's going down instead of up, we say negative five. So whenever we go to the right, it's positive. Or when we go up, it's positive. And if we go to the left or down, that's negative. This yellow vector here goes to the right six places and it doesn't go up or down. It just goes to the right six places. So it's six to the right and nothing up or down. So six, zero. For the blue vector here, we are going to the left six. So that's minus six to the left six and then up one. So negative six, one. And finally, the orange vector goes to the right six and then down four. So it's six, negative four. Okay, some for you to try. So pause the video and try and write down the column vectors for each of the ones shown in the diagram. So I'm going to start with the orange one this time. So it goes to the right six, up three. So it's six, three. The red vector goes nothing to the left or right. So zero. And it goes down seven. So zero minus seven. The green vector Go to the left, four, and up, five. So it's negative four to show it's going to the left, and then up, five. The blue vector goes to the left, ten spaces, and up two. So it's going to the left, so negative ten, and then up, two. The purple vector goes to the right, five, down three so it's positive five negative three and the yellow one goes to the left six so negative six and down three negative three so here we've been given two vectors so we're told A is the vector that goes three, four to the right three, up four. B is a vector that goes to the right five and then up one. And we're being asked, what is A plus B? So if we did A and B one after the other, where would we have moved? So we can just add up the change in the X direction. So three and five, means we've gone to the right eight three plus five is eight and we've gone up four plus one so we've gone up five so if we add these two vectors together we go to the right eight and up five how about two a's and a b so we do a twice and then b so two a's if i double a would be six eight and we're going to add that to a B, which is 5, 1. So how far have we gone to the right? 6 plus 5 
is 11. And how far up? 8 plus 1 is 9. So if we did two A's and then a B, we go to the right 11 and then up 9. How about A take away B? So we go A and then we do the opposite of B. We go backwards along B. So again, we could just take away our X numbers. So 3 take away 5. That's negative 2. And 4 take away 1 is 3. So if we did A and then went backwards along B, we would have gone 2 to the left and 3 up. Okay, one for you to try. So give these a go. So A plus B, we're going to add up the movements in the X direction. 5 and 7 make 12. And add up the movements in the Y direction. 1 and 2 make 3. 2 A's plus a B. So we're going to do A twice and then B. So 2 5's are 10. Plus 7 is 17. 2 1's are 2. Plus 2 is 4. So 2 A's plus a B is 17 4. And A minus B. is, well, 5 take away 7 is negative 2, and 1 take away 2 is negative 1. And some more questions, this time with more negatives in them. So the first one is 2 A's plus a B. So 2 of the A's, which is going to be 8 minus 4, and we're adding a B, which is negative 5, 3. So if we add the top, 8 minus 5 is 3. And add the bottom, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. The second one, A plus 3B. So we've got A, which is 4, negative 2. And we're adding on 3B, so 3 lots of our B. So if we multiply B by 3, that's negative 15, 9. So then add the changes in the X. 4 minus 15 is negative 11. And negative 2 plus 9 is 7. And 2A minus B, so we've got 2As. We're doing A twice, which will be 8, negative 4. And we're taking away a B which is negative 5, 3. So for the x, we've got 8 minus minus 5. When we take away a negative, we go up. So 8 plus 5 is 13. And negative 4, take away a 3, is negative 7. So if we go 2 a's, do a twice, and then backwards along a b, we'd get 13 to the right and 7 down. Okay, one for you to try, so give that a go. So we've got A plus 2Bs, and A is negative 1, 3, and 2Bs would be negative 12, 4. So if we add them together, negative 1 and a negative 12 would make negative 13, so 13 left, and 3 and 4 make 7. A minus B, so it's just taking away the X's and taking away the Y's, or the change in the X and the change in the Y. So negative 1, take away negative 6, so negative 1 plus 6 is 5, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So if we went along A and then backwards along a B, we'd go 5 to the right and 1 up. And C, we've got A take away 2B. So I write down A, and we're going to take away 2Bs, which is negative 12, 4. So negative 1, take away negative 12. Negative 1 plus 12 is 11. And 3 take away 4 is negative 1. And 
And to finish up, we've got two questions. Give these a go. So vector A is drawn on the grid. So vector A goes three to the right, two down. So as a column vector, that's three, negative two. Draw two A on the grid. So two A's is double this. So it'll be six to the right and four down, double A. So six to the right, And four down. Question two. Write down as a column vector three A's plus two B's. So three lots of A. So if we multiply the changes by three, that's negative six, negative 12. And two B's, that would be 10 to the right and six up and if we add these together so if we go six to the left and then ten to the right we go four to the right and if we go twelve down and then six up we go six down so negative six plus ten is four negative twelve plus six is negative six and two a minus b so two a's would be negative four, negative eight. And we're taking away a five, three. So we're going backwards along a five, three. It's the same as adding negative five, negative three. So negative four, take away five is negative nine. And negative eight, take away three is negative 11.